Hey guys, uh, I Pioneer. Gonna be doing another custom review. This time on my double O Arsenal. Basically, this is my variation of the double O Quanta custom unit. But with that out of the way, let's do everything my double O Arsenal comes with. Okay, folks, this is everything my double O Quanta Arsenal comes with. First things first, we go with the GM Blaster, which I'm gonna call GM Blaster because I forgot what its name. This thing right here was originally belonging to my double O Sky, higher than Sky Phase. What's called? That's no longer the case as I used that as a kit bash for base for this. Then we have the two GN swords that belong to my original double O, uh, double O Gundam right here. Two blades for defensive and offensive capabilities. They're also able to transform the two GN rifles to have backup basically long range or mid to long range weaponry in case anything ever happened. This basic rifle right here and easy transformation back to blade mode. Then we have the GN, uh, GN Shield that also contains the second GN Drive for my double O Quanta right here. Also, besides that, it also is able, comes with six GN Blades. Actually right here, able to dismount, no problem at all. Actually right here. These right here are basically uh, funnels in a sense. Meant to basically well, you know what funnels are, if, if you've been to Gundam or any mech franchise. Basically, they're basically uh, drones that help you out into battle. And they're really nice and easy to use. And then last but not least, the uh, GN Long Cannon. I guess I'm going to call it Long Cannon because I forgot what it was called from Double O Sky. It's other backup weaponry that technically belonged to the Destiny. But not the, then went to, from Destiny to Double O Sky and to Double O Sky to my Quanta Arsenal. A long range weaponry. Basically, to take out almost any units. Um, I'm pretty sure also can take out capital ships too, in case it needs to. Uh, it's powered up by the third GN drive. As you can see here, this machine carries three GN drives. Technically, it still uses the twin drive system. The third GN drive is mainly meant to power this guy right here for more power. Now, let's go with articulation of my guy. Now, going for the articulations, this, this is basically a smash up of basically both the Quanta and, and the Double O Sky. Uh, going from the head right here, it's able to spin no problem at all. As it is different heads, but it's able to spin no problem at all. You can see right there. Face design is probably one of my favorite out of all the double O units that we've come across. Come across. Its arm, able to spin no problem at all. Bend out. As this is a double O unit, it's able to bend all the way with no problem. And also as a double O unit, it's able to bend all the way back. See right there, no problem. That's the one thing I love about double O units. They're uh, joints are able to bend no problem and right there able to spin no problem at all torso as this is the Qantas torso that'll bend back and forth so so and it's able to spin that way and now it's kind of stuck because what's called the joints for the side skirts but you lift it up so and so it's able to spin around with no problem at all but then just bring it back down so you don't have it falling off with no problem at all then right here, we have the leg. They would bend all the way forward. No problem. All the way back, since this thing doesn't have any of the blockage that usually you see with most Gundams having their back flap. It's being too big for them to go all the way back. No problem at all. This knee is able to bend all the way, as most of the double O units, legs, well, uh, the 4th and 5th gens are able to do this, plus also the variations, minus all the XC versions. Feet right here is able to bend sideways, sideways, and up and forth, no problem at all. And I really do like that. They would have bend its knee pretty nicely designed. And as this is a double O unit, or at least it's later generations double O units, it's able to bend. I mean, not bend, I do a split. No problem at all. Woo. But that is it for the review for my custom double O arsenal. This right here is the technical final upgrade of my Estrella uh, Scarlet. As in my story for this, uh, my Estrella Scarlet gets destroyed or whatnot, and I switch to this for the remainder of the story until at the end of the battle where it gets destroyed along with the rival enemy and I save the day as the story for that. Uh, Gundam side story for my personal headcanon. Ah. <sighs> And that right there is that is it for the review or for my custom double O arsenal. A pretty nice custom unit that I made. It's mainly a kit bash unit with paint job added onto it, which I did which I do like. This is basically my basic uh paint job for most of my kits.
or at least most of my personal kits. As it is the final battle version of this for my uh, little Gundam story that I was making. Uh, but with that out of the way, this Pirate Arden was his double arsenal. Signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.